there in front for the finish. The American advance to the finals, winning to nothing. So American ladies run the world, at least in soccer. Don't say that. Huh. Welcome to Geico Sports Net Central. It's a special edition tonight. Eminem here with you, Money Miller, Mellow Miles, also known as the Chris and Chris Sports Factory. How about that, that is a great lead in. Mm. Well played. We're a team. Coming up. Now seem to be the Wizards, Celtics, and LA Clippers. Man, a lot of musical chairs. I don't know. Pierce moves a bit slow these days. See what you May want to pop a squat, <laughs> you know, before all those spots are gone. I know it was a lot of info. Hope you kept up with that, Sebastian. You know what? Uh, focus has been a problem for me since I was seven, and even now into my late teen years, it <laughs> continues to be an issue. The Wizards having no problem focusing. Pretty on with everything. So the Nats make it five in a row. Let's go down to Nats Park to check in with Mark Zuckerman. Jordan Zimmerman, eight scoreless. The Nats starters have now tossed 35 straight shutout innings, a team record. Zook, why are they so effective right now on the mound? Well, I mean, for starters, Chris, they're just really good. They're naturally can mean the difference. This has been a tough season for Ian Desmond at the plate this year, batting just 222, but he comes through when the team needs him tonight. A sack fly. Could this be the jump off point for him to get things started? They certainly hope so. It has been a struggle uh, for Desmond and all take over the program. So here to talk about the NBA draft and our man Kelly Oubre is former NBA player Tony Massenberg in our NBA analyst. Tony, the Wizards had to trade up to get this guy from the 19th pick to the 15th pick. They also gave up two second round picks. Is that too much for a guy that seems like he's relatively unknown? You know, that's a question word right here. So the Wizards brought in, what, 20 players for workouts, and we had a bunch of names on the radar. Yeah, he didn't come in for a workout. How yeah. does he get on the radar, and how does he get on the team without <laughs> any analysts, anyone having them on their mock drafts? Well, from the very beginning, Ernie Grunfeld had said it for years. Okay, so what makes him special? What makes him someone that you need to grab and go up a few spots to go get? Well, when you look at his own ability to make plays, but ultimately the Wizards are looking at him to be a disruptive force on defense. Kelly Oubre, not Uber, but maybe he'll get the Wizards home safely in the playoffs. Tony Massberg, appreciate you kicking it with us. Thank you. All right. And maybe he can also bring KD back home to D.C. Conspiracy theorists, come on out. Because earlier this week, Kevin Durant put this picture on Instagram with this caption saying, follow my homeboy, at Kelly Oubre. Good luck Thursday. I remember you as a young pup. Now I'm about to play against you in the big boy league. Laugh out loud, my man. Or maybe play with Oubre in D.C. KD to D.C. in 2016, still alive and well. The Wizards went with another forward for their second pick of the night. Iowa Hawk noon at Nats Park. Much like the Nats, the O's swinging the bats. Orioles north of the border in Toronto. Second inning, Baltimore with more singles than Match.com. Four RBI singles off Blue Jays starter Scott Copeland in the inning, and the Birds take the 4-0 lead. Later in the second, Jimmy Paredes. He's got all of that one. Eighth home run of the season, three-run shot, makes it a season-best seven-run inning for Baltimore. Bottom of the inning, here comes Toronto. Ezekiel Carrera, the three-run banger of his own. Tillman gives up six earned runs and gets pulled in the second inning. Fourth inning now, Jose Batista facing reliever Brad Bratch. That's his 200th home run over the past five seasons. Gives Toronto a 9-7 lead. O's trailing by one in the seventh. This changes that. RBI single by J.J. Hardy. We're all tied up, and he's been clutch all season for Baltimore. Ninth inning, Hardy again. The chopper up the middle. Chris Davis scores from second for the go-ahead run. Orioles win 13-9. Our pin-fed stat of the day. It was a big win for the Orioles, but another terrible performance from Chris Tillman against the Blue Jays. And four starts... 
Well, welcome back. This season, Deshaun Jackson produced his best numbers of his career. Now he's producing his own reality show. The first episode aired Tuesday night on BT. Don't worry, the Redskins wide receiver is not bringing cameras to the district just yet. All of the episodes are currently being filmed in California, where Jackson is from and currently resides in the offseason. Jackson signed a three-year, $24 million deal last spring. The Redskins won just four games, though. Clearly, signing a special talent like Jackson did not directly lead to victories. On this segment of 100 miles an hour, we try to examine how valuable a player truly is. NBA and NHL free agency begins today. The Wizards and Caps could both lose players that were key to their playoff runs. Braden Holtby made $2 million this past season. A ridiculous bargain for a 25-year-old goalie that was fifth in the NHL in goals against average. But not as crazy as one might think. Of the four goalies ahead of Holtby, two make less than a million dollars a year. Russell Wilson leads the NFL in jersey sales. He's been to back-to-back -back Super Bowls, yet he pulls in $1.5 million from the Seahawks. There are eight backup quarterbacks who earn more than he does. When asked on Tuesday how much he should be paid, Wilson threw out two numbers, $1.5 million and $25 million. We'll see in the next year if Wilson will reach that number. He's clearly provided a great return on investment for the Seahawks, but will he once he signs his big contract? Two years ago, when John Wall signed his five-year, $80 million extension, some believe the Wizards reached a bit for the oft-injured point guard. Well, that's laughable now. Back-to-back -back playoff and all-star appearances in a slam dunk title later, Wall looks like a bargain for the Wiz kids. It's hard to determine the true value of a player the day they sign their contracts. Over the next few days, there'll be both celebration and outrage as teams lock up free agents. Let's just hope the players that get paid the most translate to victories and teams slow down from going 100 miles an hour. Hopefully in Atlanta. The O's went from worst to first in just 10 days. Well, almost. The Orioles went from second to last in the AL East to first in just eight games. It's easier to get to the top than it is to stay there. Be more needing a win at home against Texas tonight just to do so. If you're a fan of the long ball, then you're going to love these highlights. It doesn't take long. First inning, Chris Crush Davis living up to his name. Orioles take an early 2-0 lead. Well, next inning, same result. Miguel Gonzalez in his second start since coming off the DL gives up a softball and Mitch Moreland. We're tied up at two. The next inning, you see him again and you know the results. Chris Davis sees the pitch he does like. Bang, bang. His second two-run home run of the night. We're tied at four. We ain't done yet with the long ball. Fifth inning, Gonzalez leaves a slider up. Not a good look. Robinson Reynolds sends this to the bleacher creatures. Rangers take the 5-4 lead. Hey, at least O's fans are loyal. Like, you can have that ball back. Two batters later, Shinsu Chu also taking Gonzalez out of here. Third home run given up on the night. Gonzalez relieved of his duties. Texas goes up 6-4 bottom of the frame at this point if you haven't realized when you see a batter you're about to see a home run you aren't paying attention Manny Machado with the solo shot birds down one same predicament in the eighth Moreland back at the dish and he's eating two his second two run shot of the night that's seven home runs hit between both teams that's all the insurance that the Rangers would need as the Orioles lose eight six Tom Free, a home field advantage presented by Caldwell Banker, and Mitch Moreland feels right at home in Camden Yards, Moreland. You are connected to Geico Sportsnet Central. The $200 million arm has been historic for the Nationals. Seriously, back-to-back -back complete games, just one hit given up, a no-hitter as a letdown because a perfect game was in play until the penultimate batter was hit. Well, Max Scherzer is becoming a star in the district in less than half a season. Welcome to Geico Sportsnet Central. I'm Chris Miles. We'll talk more about Mad Max a little bit later. We'll start on the diamond, though, where it was all about the Nats' bats. 
There's Max. He can't put the team on his back on Sunday. Bryce Harper put the team on his back. His 24th on the year, second in two games, 2-0 Washington. A lot of natitude still in the first inning. Two-out rally is going. Jose Lobaton, base hit to center. Clint Robinson scores. It's 3 nothing Nets. Same inning, same result. Michael A. Taylor, slow chopper to third. Everybody's safe. Up the count, 4 nothing. Charlie Morton decides to mix it up on the mound, trying to pick off Taylor at first. Yeah, not a good idea. Ian Desmond scores. It's 5-0 Nets. You know, it's a crazy day at the plate when the pitcher contributes in the first inning. Gio Gonzalez slaps down the first baseline and RBI for his cause. Nats bat around and still keeping it going. We're still in the first, and it's a 6-0 game. Escobar's season has returned. Yunel Escobar, that's a souvenir and a good one. Plates the Nats' ninth run in the inning. That's a franchise record. We skip to the ninth inning because nothing else mattered here. Corey Hart hits a two-run shot off of Felipe Rivero. That's significant because it snaps a 24 and two-thirds scoreless streak by the Nats pitchers, another club record. Nats crews 9-2 with more from a happy locker room. We've got your home field advantage presented by Caldwell Banker. It's fun to be a part of, you know, that's, that's sometimes, you know, hitting, you know, hitting's contagious, as I've said all along, you know, so when guys string together hits like that, you know, it can create a snowball effect. And